the untouchables who were they and why they became untouchables by baba saheb ambedkar part 3 chapter 7 2 granting however that there was a third of aboriginal race living in india before the advent of the dravidians can it be said that these pre dravidian aboriginals were the ancestors of the present day untouchables of india there are two tests we can apply to find the truth one is the anthropomorphic test and the other is the ethnological consider the list of the light of the anthropomorphic characteristics of the indian people professor ghurie has something very striking to say in his volume on caste and race in india from which the following is an extract taking the brahmin of the united provinces the typical representative of the ancient aryan we shall start comparisons with him if we turn to the table of differential indices we find that he shows a smaller differential index as compared to the chura and the khatri of the punjab than the tanya caste from the united provinces except the chatri the differential index between the khatri and the chura is the only slightly less than that between the brahmin and of the united provinces and the chura of the punjab this means that the brahmin of the united provinces has closer physical affinities with the chura and the khatri of the punjab than with any caste from his own province except the very high caste of the chatri the reality of this close affinity between the united provinces brahmin and the punjab chura is more clearly brought out if we look at the table of the differential indices between the united provinces brahmin and the other brahmins of the region even the differential index between the united provinces brahmin and the bihar brahmin who from what we know about the history of spread of the aryan culture is, is expected to be very nearly aligned to the former is just as high as that between the united provinces brahmin and the chura on historical background we expect from bihar to approximate to the united province on referring to the table we find that the kurmi comes close near to the brahmin and the chamar and the dom stand much differentiated from him but the chamar in this case is not as much distinct from the brahmin as the united province's chamar is from the united province's brahmin the table for bengal shows that the chandal who stands sixth in the scheme of a social presidents and whose touch pollutes is not much differentiated from the brahmins from whom the kayasta second in rank can hardly be said to be distinguished in bombay the deshastha brahmin bears as close a affinity to the sonkoli or fisherman caste as to his own compeer the chitpavan brahmin the mahar the untouchable of the maratha region comes next together with the kunbi the peasant then follow in the order the shenvi brahmin the nagar brahmin and the high caste maratha these results are rather old stated in a generalized form they mean that there is no correspondence between social degradation and physical differentiation in bombay finally we come to madras here we must treat the different linguistic areas separately for the schemes of social precedence in the various areas are different according to the average given by risley and by e thorston of the order of caste is as follows kapu sale malla golla madiga fogata and komati according to their social status they are ranked as below brahmin komati golla kapu and others and sale fagota and others malla madiga occupy the lowest rank between the pariahs of the telugu country in the canaries the nasal index gives the following order kamatak smarats brahmin bant billiva mandava मंडे ब्राह्मण वकलेगा गनेगा लिंग बनजेगा पंचार कुरा होलेया देशस्थर ब्राह्मण तोरेया एंड बेदार इन द स्कीम ऑफ सोशल प्रेसिडेंस द कास्ट्स आर एज अंडर ब्राह्मण पंत एंड वकलेगा तोरेया एटसेट्रा कुरुबा एंड गनेगा बडगा एंड क्रुम्बा एंड सोलगा बिलेवा बेडा होले The significance of the comparison is enhanced when we remember that the nasal index of the Holya, the bra- untouchables of the Canaries region, is 75.1, that of the highest of the Brahmin being 71.5, while those of the Jangal, Krumba, and the Solaga, who went Hinduized, occupy the rank allotted to them in the list, are 86.1 and 85.1. The Tamil caste may be arranged according to the nasal index as follows: Ambattan, Velai, Idian, Agamudayan, Tamil Brahmin, Palli, Malayali, Shanan, and Parayan. The nasal index of the four typical Malayalam castes are Tian, Nambudri, Nayar, Charuman, and the order of social precedence amongst these is Nambudri, Nayar, Tian, and Charuman. The nasal index of the Kanikar, a jungle tribe of Travancore, is 8.4. thus the charuman and 
unapproachable, belonging to the same race as the Brahmin rather than to the Kanikar. To omit from the above extract what is to be said about other communities and to draw attention to what relates to the untouchables only, it is clear that the nasal index of the Chuhura, the untouchables of the Punjab, is the same as the nasal index of the Brahmin of the United Provinces. The nasal index of the Chamar, the untouchables of Bihar, is not very distinct from the Brahmin of Bihar. The nasal index of the Holya and the untouchable of the Canaries is far higher than that of the Brahmin of the Karnataka. And that the nasal index of the Cheruman and unapproachable lower than that of even the Praya of the Tamil belongs to the same race as the Brahmin of the Tamil Nadu. If anthropometry is a science which can be depended upon to determine the race of a people, then the result obtained by the application of anthropometry to the various strata of Hindu society disproved that the untouchables belong to a race different from the Aryans and the Dravidians. The measurements established that the Brahmin and the untouchables belong to the same race. From this it follows that if the Brahmins are Aryans, the untouchables are also Aryans. If the Brahmins are Dravidians, the untouchables are also Dravidians. If the Brahmins are Nagas, the untouchables are also Nagas. Such being the case, the theory propounded by Mr. Dice must be said to be based on a false foundation. The End Further Appendix Anthropometry is not an accurate science to predict the races of people. Further, the race theory of today does not state that every Brahmin is an Aryan and every untouchable is a Dravidian. What is being stated is that most Dravidians are considered to be either Shudra or Dalit in the untouchable castes and that some function is functioning as Kumpradur elites formed the Brahmin society as well. The Brahmins themselves found their broken people within the Aryans and termed them as Shudra and further as untouchable. Therefore, even though there is a lot of mix and match, most Dravidians are considered to be having a lower caste imposed on them and all Adivasis are considered lower caste or Dalit or Avarna and most Aryans or Indo-Aryans despite mix and match, despite mixing, despite intermarriage between higher castes themselves which has been the case somewhat in the olden times before the advent of untouchability as a concept However, with caste, with its intricacies, there has been a lot of mix match. However, it is stated that most Dravidians are from, as stated before, lower caste, whereas most Brahmins are from the Aryans. This is the racial theory of the new. This is what is followed by several scholars today. And this is very distinct from the racial theory of the old. The speaker does not have an opinion on the same and the speaker is liable to change their opinion on the basis of whatever research comes out. However, no ethnological study has so far been conducted into everyone and every person and every community in India. Therefore, whether this is true or not as a fact is to be seen. The end.